So the power of a quotient, power of a quotient, means that we are going to find the quotient or the answer to some division problem and we're going to raise it to a power. So let's come up with an example. Let's do um, 6y cubed b to the fourth c to the sixth divided by um, say 12y to the fifth b squared c to the eighth. And we'll take that whole thing and we're going to raise it to the power of 3. So there's really two ways to do this. We could rewrite this so that we had just the numerator to the power of 3 and then the denominator to the power of 3. So it would look like 6y cubed b to the fourth c to the sixth cubed over 12y to the fifth b squared c to the eighth cubed. So we could do it this way, in which case then we could go through and raise each of these to the power of 3 first and then cancel everything that was cancelable. Or we can start by doing our cancelling first and then we'll take the result and raise the result to the power of 3. So because doing it this way means I end up with pretty big numbers, I mean right away I get 6 times 6 times 6, which is what, 36 times 6 or 196? I mean, right off the bat, I'm 196 on top. If I do the canceling first, I end up with smaller numbers at the end. I'll have something much smaller that I cancel here that then I raise to the power of 3. So let's do it that way. Let's go and do our canceling first. We'll have 6 into 12. Well, 6 into 12 cancels and it leaves a 2 on the bottom. So let's start rewriting our fraction here. We have 2 on the bottom and then we have y cubed, or y times itself three times on top, and five y's times themselves on the bottom. So if I cancel the three on top with the three on the bottom, that's going to leave two. So we'll have y squared down on the bottom. Then I have four b's on top and two on the bottom. So if I cancel those two with these four, I'm going to have two left on top. So I'll have b squared up there. And then I have six c's on top and 8 on the bottom, so I'll get rid of all 6 on top and leave 2 c's or c squared on the bottom. So now we've sort of reduced everything, we've canceled everything we can cancel top and bottom. We still need to cube our quotient, but now we have much smaller numbers to cube. We have b squared cubed, so we raising a power to a power we multiply, that gives us b to the sixth, and then we have 2 cubed, that's 8, much easier than 196, and y squared cubed would be y to the sixth, and c squared cubed would be c to the sixth. So that gives our final answer as b to the sixth over 8y to the sixth, c to the sixth. So much, much simpler than trying to go with these big numbers ahead of time.